welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we are talking about the Galapagos Pink Land Iguana. This is the Galapagos Pink Land Iguana. It is a species of iguana endemic to a very, very small range. It can only be found on Wolf Volcano in Isabella Island in the Galapagos Island system. Which is to say, a very, very small and remote range, which makes it very hard to study and also hard for conservation efforts. These guys are classified as being critically endangered with a population of less than 200 mature individuals left in the entire area. Now, they are quite heavily protected, especially since they are considered to be a very distinct species from other Galapagos iguanas, and they're only found in a very, very small area in a very, very small number. Since they live in such a remote and inaccessible area, Habitat loss and human interference, or at least direct human interference, doesn't really affect these animals much. The main problem is invasive species such as feral cats as well as rats. There aren't that many natural predators of the pink Galapagos land iguana, and so with the introduction of invasive species, it makes it very hard for them to defend themselves, especially the young iguanas and the egg clutches. As for conservation efforts, there aren't a whole lot of efforts going on right now. The whole of the island, as far as I'm aware, is protected, which is good. It's also illegal to harm or hunt or poach any of these guys, which again, good thing. And there may be a captive breeding program established pretty soon in the future. Since there already is a well-established captive breeding program for regular Galapagos land iguanas, which are a distinct separate species from the pink ones, that captive breeding program is overall pretty successful, so the hope is that these guys will also do good enough in captivity to kind of boost the population. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing really being done a whole lot about the invasive species on the island. That would probably be one of the better bets to protecting the pink... Uh, I'm not saying the full name again. This guy. But that's a bit of a steep undertaking and would take a lot of time and money, but hopefully these guys will make a comeback in the future with a successful captive breeding program. 